back. And we're gonna go outside. Alright, I said Snickers, but it can be interpreted so many ways because I had Snickers in my mouth. Watch out! Shit! Whoa! What the? Where did I come from? Are we under attack? I don't think so. Uh, Nor do I. Take a close look. A ladder? I've never seen anything like this script, though. Looks like an old school style of writing from the east. And I'm guessing it's coded? Precisely. I've used this to extract code, exact code, in my work as Yin before. It says, uh. The dancer and former Zero Child are in your our care. Come to the ancient battlefield of the south east. We await ye. Oh, we were there. We weren't allowed to go in there, though. Oh! Ow! <laughs> Freaking eating candy right now. It's Halloween! <laughs> a note written in Eastern code delivered on a kunai meant for yin. Not hard to figure out who it's from. Your mom. Or who they are in, in their custody. Your mom. It's us! I think they're both alright. Told you Ki is strong, didn't I? Still, why would they be looking after Ilya as well? It is Ilya. <coughs> hey! Something wrong, Lloyd? Wait! You don't think this is... A ransom note? Most likely. They wouldn't have waited this long to contact us without a reason. They may be under their care, but that doesn't mean they're safe. No! Oh no, not that! <laughs> oh no! The ancient battlefield is where the cult had its base, right? Can't say I have a good feeling about this, but Dad will have a good feeling about this. You're not gonna let that stop you, huh? Of course. As long as there's a chance Kia is there, no danger is too great. We'll do whatever it takes to get keep her safe. I feel the same. I'm not gonna simply... Uh, I'm not not going simply isn't the, an option if it is where our loved ones are. That's right. Let's make sure we're fully prepared before we set off. Okay. Are you fully prepared? Yes. Oh, uh, booby check. Oh, stop touching my boobs. They're moobs. Moobs. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hmm? Somebody's got squeaky brakes? What was that? What's a strange feeling? Choosing to continue will cause the main story to advance. It would also not be possible to go any further in Lord's story for a brief period. Proceed. Proceed? There's something wrong. There's something wrong, Lloyd. Yeah, we're going to start playing as somebody else soon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought I said something strange, but it must have just been in my imagination. Wait, why does, it feel, why does my pocket feel bulkier all of a sudden? No, oh, it's getting a hard on. What the fuck? A mirror? How peculiar looking. Where did you find it? I'm not sure. I've never seen it before. Strange as it sounds, it was just appeared in my pocket out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that didn't happen. I'm guessing one of the village kids slipped it in your pocket as a prank. Maybe. It's the ugly mirror. It makes you look ugly. <laughs> but I doubt any of them could pull it off without me noticing. But if that's not it, then how did it get in my pocket? I can't even hazard a guess. I feel as though I have it for a reason. It's so bizarre. So bizarre. So bizarre. <laughs> Where could it have come from? Progress in Lloyd's story has been locked for now. Progress in one or both of the other stories in order to continue. Uh. Trails to walk. Okay. Hmm. We've done Reen's thing, but it doesn't like show that we've done a Reen's thing. There Wait, it is. Yeah. It's act two, you the, foo. Uh, okay. Okay, fine. 
Can I just jump to Lloyd's route now? Or no, you just did Lloyd's. You're going to Beans? You're going to Beans. Beans! <laughs> Heimdallot! With Central Station! Angry Kids. And the Schwauz Tower. Aw, oh, yeah. We're finally here. Yeah. Ten already? Sure is. Heimdall's pretty far from Ymir. Hi. I am... next target shall be the muck and mire that gathers in the Vermilion City. The Vermilion City C mentioned can only be Heimdall. But the capital is gigantic. We're going to need some way to narrow our search radius. <laughs> you ask me, the race course in the Garnier district seems suspicious. Do they now? Yeah. I know, I know. I'll save having fun till our work's done. <laughs> well, I'd right. be happy to take you anywhere you like once we've ensured Prince Oliver is safe. Um, as long as it's not the kind of shady businesses I know you want to go to. It's just some I hookers. Gotcha. Can't very well go to him in uniform. That's. Not the problem here, Ash. We can go for dessert, though, right? Pancakes? Pancakes. It's like dessert pancakes for breakfast. <laughs> It'll be on me, even. Damn right. Just focus on the investigation first. Let's start with Lady Arie, since she's agreed to speak with us. To the training hall in the Leica district we go, then. Vermilion Muckamir. Mayor. <laughs> Meyer. Oh, nice! Ah, oh, sorry. The morning after learning the Major Leclerc of Crossbell's occupation, we set out discussing how we should act. We also established contact with all the members of Class 7 so that we could inform them of the situation. Crossbell. First, there is the matter of Crossbell itself. Hello. Mm hmm. We knew from Major's intel that it was under the control of the former Governor General and his Ebon Defense Force. Anxiety over the region's wel wel welfare gnawed at us. But as it is isolated from the outside world, we have no way of learn to learn more. Indeed, there was little we could do on that front at the t for the time being. <laughs> Then there was the matter of the pr search for Prince Oliver and his wife. I'm concerned of the prince! <laughs> Their whereabouts remain unknown. Furthermore, the round of seven system we had used to stay in touch over long distances relied on an artifact stored on the Courageous Two. With the ship airship stolen, that method of communication was lost to us. Our only clue... Then was the message sent to the Intelligence Division by C. Vague as it was, the information was undoubtedly our best lead into the unraveling the mystery that of the Prince's dear disappearance. Dear disappearance. Dear disappearance. With hope on the horizon, we set about dividing ourselves into several groups. Major Claire, Juana, agreed to head east to get a handle on the situation in Crossbell. Meanwhile, Lord Matthias and Kurt head west to rendezvous with the students in the vendor school. Muse volunteered to return to the branch campus to meet up with the principal and her fellow students, as well as seek help from their other, other resources. Sources. Yeah. Good job. The others would all find ways to use their strengths in uh, aiding our cause. Meanwhile, I was to bring Altina and Ash with me to Heimdalla to find the trail left to, to us by C's message. That is basically our situation as it stands. His Excellency cool, also asked here. us to tell you that he hopes you'll be able to look after the hall in his extended absence. Thank you for updating me on everything going on. It's Kurt's mama. What up? A... It's the least we could do. 
Your husband did a lot for us. More like put us through the goddamn ringer. All while shrugging off our attacks like we were nothing more than a bunch of buzzing mosquitoes. We sent Kurt flying off a cliff, too. I found him quite terrifying. I do hope he didn't leave you with any lasting trauma. Only... well, yeah. Still, this is a measured <laughs> hand. If he came at you that fiercely, he trusted you could handle it. I hope you can understand that he only did what he did because he saw potential in all of you. We do. Don't worry. Yeah, could tell he was acting with any ill. I could, yeah, could tell he wasn't acting with any ill will. Yeah. If anything, I'm the one with the reputation for being a stern disciplinarian around here. Based on how often I see my students quake at their knees, I wonder if they fear me more than my husband. We caught wind of <clears throat> we caught wind of that when we were here for one uh, of our field exercises. Hurt's got some monster parents. Surprising the guy ain't half tomatomarian or something. What the fuck? <laughs> He's not half tomato. It's good. <laughs> In the time I spent with him, it was clear that there was much more to him than his stern presence on the battlefield. He was kind enough to share some wisdom with me, too. Was he now? Yeah, he said, um, nothing. We weren't in towels. <laughs> He's a man of few words, so that's very unusual. I can't picture that happening at all. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. Guys, don't make fun of me! <laughs> Please don't speak rudely about the man in front of his wife, you two. Don't worry, I appreciate their honesty. Still, I'm glad to see that you all seem even more united as a class than you did when you were last here. Do continue to look after my Kurt, won't you? Of course. Hey, Kirby, Kirby. We would... Uh, we would even if you weren't you like we're just doing it dude it's cool and if he want and if he wants help getting into the a good kind of trouble I'm this guy Ahem. don't yeah. fucking talk to him <laughs> <laughs> getting back to why we're here has anything out of the ordinary happened in the capital recently students who were here have split up across Erebonia to, to search for information on Prince Oliver's whereaboots. As such, I'm not as well informed on the situation here in Heimdall as I would be. But there is one thing I feel is worth mentioning. What that? I feel as though there are more people coming and going than there should be, especially given how there are no festivals or celebrations here around this time of year. It's making the capital feel more restless than usual, differently from how it, it did during the summer festival. It's as though there's something stagnant in the air. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to, to not have to deal with any more Calvert spies like at the festival, that's for sure. But stagnant air is all you're gonna get in the city to begin with. You feel anything out of the whack, Schwarzdauer? Not especially, if I'm honest. I'm guessing it's a relatively slight difference, ma'am. Yes, I, it may even be just my imagination. You lived in Heimdall for a long time. If something feels amiss to you, it likely is. We'll keep that in mind as we investigate. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't provide you with any, with any, uh, with. Bad. Provide you with any more concrete information. Yeah, I just had to burp that I helped you out. <laughs> there is one thing I can do, however. I'd like to introduce you to someone dependable to aid your investigation. Oh? Well, I say introduce, but you particularly know her very well. She should be here any moment now. Ooh. Ah, there we are. More come on. A ladylike mm -hmm. voice. Hmm. Who be this lady? I think I know who that is. I suspected as much. By all means. 
It's my little sister. Oh! Stop patting my boobies. Nice. <laughs> boobies. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's good to see you all again. The same to you. <laughs> so she's our little helper, huh? She gets head pats. Indeed. <laughs> sister Doreen, friend to Princess Alfin, and head of St. Astraya's Student Council. The noble Elise Schwarzer herself. The princess and Muse have already apprised me of the situation, so I spoke with Lady Aurie and volunteered to aid you upon your arrival. I apologize if my behavior strikes you as meddlesome, but I am certain that I will be able to aid you in your investigation. You do know more about the capital than any of us. <sighs> You're not coming, and that's final. <gasps> but... <laughs> Out comes the big brother. <laughs> There's still far too much we don't know about the situation here. Given that our enemies pilfered the name of the Imperial Liberation Front, we could very well be dealing with terrorists. Involving a civilian in this would be downright irresponsible. So I'm just a civilian, am I? Yeah. Just a no-good student without a mode of power to her name? That's not what I'm trying to... Oh, I think it is. <gasps> but even leaving that aside, your blunt dismissal misses an important point. And what point is that? You but suck. the situation at hand doesn't relate to me, when I am Princess Alfin's dearest friend. But that is that, and this is... this. This is that, that, this. As we speak, she is racked with worry over her brother's well-being. Yet, as the matter is confidential, she has to feign a smile and act as though everything is normal. She cannot cast her responsibilities aside and aid in the search herself, either. And because she cannot, I will do so in her place, if I just sit by idly while she suffers in silence and do nothing to alleviate her burden, I won't be fit to call myself her friend ever again. Please. <laughs> Looks like you lose this one, Schwarzer. You realize both of them are Schwarzer in this context. They're still both losing. <laughs> if I may, I think you would do well to put your trust in her here. Her skill with a rapier is formidable. <sighs> That may be so, but... I have toiled long and hard to master the art of fencing passed down through our family. Of late, I have even grown under Lady Aurier's tutelage. And far from letting my pen rest while my sword hand improves, I have overcome many a challenge as student council president. I am no longer a cowering child in need of your protection, dear brother. I can kick ass. <sighs> <clears throat> All right. Ash called this one right. You win. Then... We'll be glad to have your assistance. Yay! But if things get dangerous, I want you to do as I say. Deal? Deal! Yay! I wish you all well in your investigation. Please. Do be careful. Should I catch wind of anything new here, I'll let you know immediately. Thank you. We appreciate it. Then let us set off. Mm -hmm. I will do my best not to overextend myself and leave you all to carry the burden. But please, if you are truly in need, I hope you won't hesitate to tell me. For even I possess a strength that you can lean on. Thanks. It's good to know you've got my back. You have special orders? And the feeling mm. is mutual. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah. Oh, she actually closed the doors herself. <laughs> yeah, you don't just hit him with your face, Reen. <laughs> Let's see what to do next. <laughs> so hard that they bounce back. <laughs> we have to meet up with the rest of our friends who have come to the capital. But there's still plenty of time before the scheduled gathering. Eh, no point in rushing, then. We shall we patrol the districts and gather some information intelligence? That way we can meet with the, the others along the way. Bleh. Given your familiarity with the area, that certainly sounds like the most efficient plan. That reminds me. Apparently the violin nerd is supposed to meet up with us from here, is uh, with us is uh, up he's we're meeting the vi we're meeting him too. <laughs> right. <laughs> Iliad has been on hasn't been on tour, so he's been working in the city. Machias is from the capital too. 
Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Marcus, Alyssa, Toa, and Sharon. Uh, I hope they're all right. I'm sure they are. For now, let's focus on what we can do. Uh, you're right, Green. Okay, let's see. Where the hell are we? All right, so first things first, we gotta get food. So let's see, there's a stall in Mater Park, in Trackles Plaza, and the Lakaga District. Oh, I'm in the Lakaga District. Gotta go to the cafe. All right. Whoops. Door's right there. What? Oh, just again. There we go. Fruitful pancakes. Yes. Give me the pancakes. All right. Now, for cooking said pancakes. Damn it! I need globity fat. I must have globity fat for my pancakes. I'm gonna get globby fat though. Anyways, uh, let's see. Next, Dracula's Plaza. Um, ah, oh, here we go. Dracula's Plaza! Okay, well done. Uh, let's see. Red food stall. Red food stall. No way, is that? Uh, yeah, that's it right over there. Hey, you two! Mm, that was so good! I want more! Alright! We can officially cross Dreykel's Plaza off the list! I'm ready to hit up the next spot! There's no need to be in such a rush. You're gonna barf everywhere if you do. How do you still have space in your stomach for more? <gasps> you insult me, Eusis! I need to try all the capital's mouth-watering morsels. I can't throw in the towel this early. <laughs> you need to sample them all without eating more than your body mass in one sitting. <laughs> Says you. I'm still growing. I gotta eat. Growing up has less to do with regular consumption and more to do with acting like an adult. Oh, hey guys. It's Rufus. Oh, Yusus Albert. I almost said Rufus. Whoopsies. <laughs> William Orion. Counter argument to that, by the way. If you want me to start acting <laughs> like an adult, then you've got to start treating me like it. You're too much of a munchkin. How's the girl supposed to feel big without being called a big sister? Counter argument to your counter argument. That makes no sense. Yes, it does. Don't be mean. <laughs> I didn't expect you all to come this early. We're going around gathering information. Info wall when we happen to see you here. At least wanted to help wanted to help us out too, so that's why she's here. I'll do my best not to trouble you. I don't think there's any chance of that. You'll be fine, help. Hey, if you need anything, just lean on me. Thank you, I will. I think anyone can tell Elise is going to be more reliable asset than you are. Than you here. Rude. Yeah. Seeing them at the stall together takes me back to the summer festival. How was that only a few short months ago? Seems like it was so much longer. Mainly because she was dead. I can't imagine you just saw that what Rufus is doing coming either. It has to be uh, weighing on him heavily. But at least he has Milliam to help take it. Uh, help take his mind off of it. Huggies! Oh, come on! Give the big city some love! Please remove yourself from around my neck. But we haven't seen each other in forever! It's barely been two weeks. That's two whole weeks! <laughs> she whines, but she's not trying to escape. This is how it always is with them. Hey, you want to try some gelato or ice cream from one of the stalls? I'll treat you. 
The milk ice cream is super rich and tasty. I'll pass. I got pancakes. I need to leave room for lunch. You're never gonna grow any bigger if you only eat the bare minimum, Tilly. I've gained another reggae on you since our last update. At this rate, you're gonna need heels to get anywhere close to my height. But again, I am older, so maybe you, I've earned it. Harumph. One ice cream cone, please, with five scoops. You only have you only allow three scoops maximum? And I'll take three, but I appreciate it if you made them as big as possible. She really doesn't want to lose this thing they've got going on, huh? Anyway, were you guys gathering intel or just on a date? We're not standing idly by. We were certainly not on a date. We've been looking into the flow of goods in the capital. That would explain why you were visiting multiple shops and stops. What have you learned then? Well, it seems like there's lots of groups buying stuff in bulk lately. All kinds of stuff too. Food, art bits. It's almost like they're getting ready for something. Hmm, that is unusual. I could get panic buying in response to Crossbow's occupation, but lately implies something implies before that. Yeah, the war's over and winter's still far off, so it can't be stocking up for the weather. The buyers themselves are suspicious, are suspicious sorts. When we started looking into them in detail, we discovered they were either startups or foreign. That, and they all appear to exist in the name only. That only adds to the mystery. Oh, you're already done with your ice cream cone? Wasn't it good? Well, yes. I have to admit that ahem, we're not here to discuss ice cream. If the buyers e exist in name only, we could be dealing with a case of fraud. Actually, no. The transactions are legitimate, the sellers received their money and the goods were dispatched. But the other significant mystery is that there is no record of where any of the goods ended up. The Delta Division has tried tracking some of these orders, but they but they just get forwarded. We're still oh, talking? Yes, we're still talking! Oh my gosh, it's Millium! <laughs> yeah. There you get get forward all, all over the place before disappearing along with the others like this. They may have been or they may have had better luck if they marked an order from the moment it's placed. But alas. Check out this ass. Alright. <laughs> By the time they realize they're dealing with another one of these one of these the transaction's already long gone, long done. Uh, so, do we think there's whoever's doing this is has gathered all the stuff they need by now? Probably. Sounds as though we're dealing with some very skilled criminals. Perhaps the reborn Imperial Liberation Front is harboring supplies. Perhaps. <laughs> what is it? Nothing worthy of no out. I was just wondering if it perhaps may lead to Crossbell's new Supreme Taco instead. Well, it could. You need a lot for that taco. Especially if you're making a lot of them. I caramba. I just cannot fathom my brother would be so foolish. I thought he'd finally learned his Leesons. It would make no sense to me either. I haven't known him for that long, even if we were both Iron Blue. But after we met him in the Imper Imperial Fortress, he seemed really pretty much done. I think we were under all the same impression. Either way, speculating on what he's trying to do serves us no purpose. 
in the now. Regardless of his reasons, I will be sure to right his wrongs as his brother. I'm sorry you're going through this, Yusus. Right I'm now, Yusus. It. <laughs> right now, our primary focus isn't him, but the missing prince and princess. That doesn't mean we can afford to turn a blind eye to Crossbow, mind. I'm just not sure whether the crisis there and the disappearance are connected in any way. But whatever the answer is, when our focus inevitably turns to him, you won't be alone in confronting him. So don't try to don't try running off alone, alright? I might. Don't worry. I wouldn't dare. I'm well aware that there's only so much I can do alone. <laughs> Good, guys, your friends are here to help you in the times of need. And you're definitely gonna need us there. Here. Well then, should we get back to gathering information? That would be wise. The move we can... Uh, the more we can find... The butter. <laughs> the butter. And let's go, go, go! Me and little bunny are ready to go. Indeed. We can't let the rest of Class 7 be the only ones working hard. Fuck those guys. <laughs> They're right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be here for whatever you need. Ice cream? Ice cream. Is Ooh, cuts. Very, very ice cream. I got the very, very ice cream. I also got something else while you were gone. You prick. There's a different recipe for food. Globity fat. No, for fruitful pancakes. Pancakes. <laughs> but I need globity fat for them. I have none. It is the rarest thing in the world. I know. I can't get that. In all jiggle. of Urbania. <laughs> Urbania. <laughs> Go to May Matter Park. Matter Park. Matter Park. Got that big dumb tow truck with buck teeth in the middle of it. <laughs> There was one time when I was towing a truck and it exploded. <laughs> huh. Turns out I left the engine running. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, blue stall. Modder Park is a popular spot to relax and unwind. Yeah, well, I know it. I've taken some good ass naps here. Oh, there he is. Oh, Elliot. His music is always so beautiful. Yeah. Finding him sure didn't take long, huh? Playing his violin. Give me that freshly squeezed juice. Give me the juice for the juice weasel. <laughs> juice me! <laughs> Excellent. You're stealing my family's recipe. <laughs> you see, I just, just squeezing the fruit, you ass. <laughs> oh, I thought I was special. <laughs> Anyways. I choked on a seed. <laughs> No, oh, he's got the battle violin. <laughs> Wait, why is it going automatically? I don't know. No. Perhaps you have a button held down. No. For some reason, it just was automatic right there. Oh, because I think it's because they're technically playing music. And you better speak fast, Biatch. Biatch. I don't know if... We could have given a better performance. Shut up, Ron. <laughs> it may have been our best one yet. Oh, but uh, there's always room for improvement. Speaking of which, man, you guys really need to step up your game. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm with them on this one. It's not often our ensemble comes together this perfectly. You got me there. I don't think we had a single note out of sync, did we? Nope. And we're all feeling at the, at the point where it felt natural to play us one. <laughs> Great. I think you <laughs> two were so into it that you forgot we had an audience. Yeah, I'm not sure I should be proud of losing myself like that. But... Uh, <laughs> when <laughs> it's just you and the music... There's no better feeling in the world. Well, yeah, well, I'll give you a pass this time. 
As long as our audience is happy, then that's all that really matters. And they were very happy. You know, we wouldn't have... We wouldn't be having moments like these at all if it not for you two. Yeah. You hadn't shown up when you did. That experience gave me a real wake-up call on just how much power music can have. And it's up to us to decide how to use that power and be for good or ill. Yo, keep it ill, yo. <laughs> I regret <laughs> what we decided last year. It can't, it can't be hurt, believe we try to just take such a beautiful thing and twist it to inspire war. What were we thinking? I never realized. It's the past day. That's your line. I know, I had to fix my glasses. Your glasses. Exactly. You're back out of the old shelves now. Right. A good thing to... Because today wouldn't have gone nearly as well without you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I could never dream of how it was. Now we have to take what we've learned and focus on bettering both ourselves and the world of musicians. You almost make it sound like you'll be flying circles around me if I don't pick up the slack. Then we'll just have to keep them up, keep up the pace. Huh. Oops. I got sidetracked. I spotted a few familiar faces among the audience and meant to say hello sooner. Oh yeah, your friends from Thor's, right? You should say hello together. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, let's go. I forgot what was I did. <laughs> you always do. Sorry for making you wait. But I'm glad you stuck around for the show. What'd you think? No need to be polite. Tell us how we really did. I thought it was brilliant. You were in perfect harmony with one another. Just don't hate me. I was genuinely speechless. Yeah, almost hurts that I wasn't able to catch the start of it. I'll take that. <laughs> we thought we did well too, but it's nice to hear that it wasn't just our heads. I see you failed you, Sister Milliam. Mm-hmm. Indeed. We met not long before coming here. Hee <laughs> Now we're all together! <laughs> Sorry, it feels like we dragged you all the way all the way here. Is this your the first time you've seen each other as a whole? <laughs> I don't know. We had a class reunion not too long ago. We just haven't had a chance to play together in ages. We couldn't pass it all up. We couldn't pass it up with all of us being in Heimdall. Now, the Greenville Company started up a small orchestra, and I couldn't resist the pipe since I used to work there. Then Ron and Morris joined it too, so we're here. Huh? I didn't know they started one. I imagine. You'd have to be top-notch to be accepted. Yeah, it wasn't easy getting accepted, let me tell you. But hey, we can't let Elliot show us up all the time, so it was worth the hustle. That uh, makes sense. I'm just glad you found a way to keep playing music that makes you happy. And the thing that make me happy is for the four of us to go on tour together in the future. So I hope we can. Really? Look, yeah. Consider my bag's already packed. Sorry. Did you guys just forget what we were talking about? Elliot can do what he likes, but we have to work around the orchestra schedule. I'm sure we can figure something out, though. By the way, I wasn't expecting to see Elise with you. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Your classes are sorely missed. <laughs> I haven't done that many, but that's still nice of you to say. 
What, you're a teacher? I think the girls mentioned that to me, come to think of it. You're a musical lecturer at St. Australia's, correct? Professional, but yeah. I'm still learning the ropes, just showing the ropes. With all these ropes. But it's been a lot of fun so far. Ooh, I want you to teach me music again! <sighs> Super interested. I'm amazed that you can carve out the time, but I can see you having a knack for it. Sarah, I can't believe you get to instruct all an all-girls school, too. Elliot always manages to look out in life, huh? I wish I could lecture at St. Australia just once would be enough. I hope you never get what well, if you think he's looking out. <laughs> oh, is that time? I've got some time! <laughs> we should be probably get going. Reedville wants us to start rehearsing at their flagship stall. Yeah. We'll see you guys around. Have fun the rest of your time at home, dog. I'll make sure they do. Hope rehearsals go well. See you later. Damn, we're still talking. <laughs> well, I guess it's time we got started. I've managed to gather some useful information. That was fast. Where from? Your mom. I spoke to a few fans and have some connections at the Music Academy. It seems Imperial Army soldiers have been spotted in town at a lot more than the us than usual these days. And whatever they're meeting up here for, it's not the docket. Hmm. That is suspicious. I called Dad to see if he knew anything about it, but no luck there. Hmm. Sounds like the Prince's disappearance is top secret even when you go pretty high up. Hmm. I got the feeling he knew something, though. Just that he wasn't sharing. Hmm. Oh, right, right, whoops. Uh, hmm. It's, hmm. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's very odd for soldiers to have been having secret meetings while in uniform. It's possible they're foreign spies disguising themselves as soldiers. I don't see what they would be stand to gain for their actions. Yeah, I don't think that's is that deep. I will on this one. It wouldn't shock me if they were still in uniform while off the clock because they're they were short on time. <laughs> Something bothering you, at least? <laughs> there is, but I let's get my thoughts in order before a little before we before sharing. Oh, I then. All we got now is that something smells fishy. Fishy. <laughs> Lady Aruo's. Uh, instru instincts were absolutely onto something, yeah. Oh god, my ass! <laughs> All that butt fucking! No. <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> Cut that out. No! <laughs> what? <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> <laughs> it's too early to say for certain if any of this is related to C. That cut. But <laughs> we should keep that at the back of our minds just in case. Right. You never know when the pieces will start coming together. The investigation continues then. Yeah. Just keep her eyes peeled. Ah, my peeling oh. eyes! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. You can edit that out if you'd like. Uh, no, we'll keep that. Um, Buttfucker. <laughs> anyways, that'll do it for this episode. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, there tons of talking, man. Yeah, it was. Anyways, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.